The Shanghai event is the newest ATP Masters 1000 tournament, and for director Michael Luevano, it's been a long journey from fairly humble beginnings. I would say it's a phenomena. I mean, it, it kind of is along the lines of, of what's happening with China, not just in tennis, but I think in, in the global economy. And in terms of tennis, I think the, the biggest thing I've seen actually is, is the fans embracing uh, the sport. Um, it, it was a big risk, I think, in 1997, starting with a, a tour event. We had, we had to work at it, and I think the, from 1997, where people were smoking cigarettes in the front row, to uh, now paying uh, 40,000 U.S. dollars for a box seat, we've come a long way, and, and the fans here, we like to boast that they are probably the most enthusiastic uh, or one of the most enthusiastic fans in the world um, and we even created a special seating arrangement here if you uh, during the broadcast you'll see that just the fans we have two rows of elite fans crazy fans that we put in place um, and that was actually Roger Federer's idea a highly successful multi-year deal for the end of season finals drew to a close last year but Shanghai's love affair with the sport continues although some modifications to the Quijong Tennis Center were needed in order to host the Masters 1000 event. The additions weren't major, with the exception of our two stadium courts. We added a 5,000 seat, state-of-the-art uh, grandstand court, if you will, uh, our court two. And we added uh, our court three, our show court, which is uh, a 3,000 seat. So we had to make accommodations for those, both television courts, if necessary, certainly court three. Um, we didn't televise it this year, but we hope to in the future, as well as semi-permanent structures for VIP hospitality, retail, um, and obviously resurfacing 19 outdoor courts and, and the stadium. It was a little work, but nothing we can't handle. And we did it in 11 months. In addition to the absence of Roger Federer and Andy Murray, this year's tournament has been blighted by some high-profile retirements, including Andy Roddick and Juan Martín del Potro. But as far as Luevano is concerned, that's the nature of sport. Fortunately, we have experience in this. I mean, um, in 2005, we lost five of the top eight players. I mean, as a tournament director, I mean, top of that one, you know, uh, so, and, you know, this, it's to be expected in sports, you know, so I, I kind of think from our perspective is we've burned in the fire before. Um, nothing really can surprise us now. And from the tournament director's point of view, despite the unexpected withdrawals, the tournament is on track to become one of the ATP Masters 1000 success stories.